Hey guys, this is Jack here, and today uh, Apple has released iOS 4.2, and majority of the features is kind of a, it unifies all three of Apple's mobile devices: the iPod Touch, the iPhone, and the iPad, of course. So most of the features are, you know, they really benefit iPad users like myself. But a few features, I, I think iPhone users and iPod Touch users will also find very thankful. Now I'm sorry about that. I think I got an email. Anyway, jumping back out. Uh, actually, let's jump back in. So one of the first uh, things you'll notice about the new software is that um, it fixes a lot of performance issues for iPhone 3G owners and also fixes some of the battery issues that the iPhone 4 owners have experienced, although I personally had never experienced such uh, issues. So if we jump back out, oh, oops, jump back out over to um, sounds, there's a bunch of new text tones. Let's see, so the old text tones were here, original, these are all the original text tones that were there before. Uh, prior to 4.2, um, there were tritone, chime, glass, horn, bell, and electronic, or just none. And you can choose one of the 17 new ones. Although the 17 new ones are really long. For example, yeah, they're kind of long, and you don't want that for every text message you receive. Um, it's kind of tedious. It kind of gets annoying, and it's really long. If you text a lot and you have your phone not set on mute, it's going to be very frustrating indeed. So I'm going to change it back to, I think, what, Tritone? That was very short and easy to recognize. So that is one of the new features. Now, another new feature is in the notes, which this is not specific to the iPhone. We'll jump ahead into the, uh, in, I mean, to the iPad later. It's updating in, my, in the background. You can choose new fonts and notes. For example, Chalkboard and Helvetica. You can, those are two new fonts. Before, it was just not marked or felt. Now, another new feature is... I, uh, it's Find My iPhone, and Find My iPhone used to be only available for um, paid mobile me subscri subscribers. Now, Find My iPhone is available for all iPhone 4, iPad, and 4th generation iPod Touch owners. So if you have an iPhone 3GS, iPhone 3G, iPod Touch 2nd, 3rd generation, and anything else beside that, um, older than that, then you can't, it, it's not free for you. So the reason I'm locating my iPad right now is because it's updating and it's not connected to or signed in to um, mobile me. So if you go, if you are a mobile media subscriber, you can go to the website and you'll find that it has been revamped. Um, it's been changed. It's the login page looks a little bit different now. And um, yeah, so and another new feature in the iPhone uh, specific is that if you double tap, you'll on the iPhone or iPod Touch or whatever, you will have um, the multitasking tray that of all these icons. If you swipe to, once to the right, you get the orientation lock, um, fast forward, fa uh, go back pause and play buttons in the iPod and if you swipe again you have the volume control so you have the volume slider which kind of is maybe you know superfluous because you have the volume buttons on the side here you know plus minus you know but you do have that feature if you really want to quickly you know switch the uh, change volume so that is um, I think that's all the iPhone related you know updates that are new um, and uh, I'll just jump on my iPad real fast and show you some new features over here. Let me just go quickly if I see any new features. Oh, AirPlay and um, AirPlay and AirPrint. So, I just I can show you Air, AirPrint on here. I can just go to a website. So, okay, just even this one work. So, I'm going to go I'm going to go to uh, or going to go to this little arrow down here. And as you can see, I can add a bookmark, add a home screen, mail this link to this page or just print. And I'll tap print. I'll select my printer, which is a brother printer, and I'll just tap I don't want to print so that just you know I don't want to print that page but yeah so it does work um, does recognize my printer and you notice that the icon down here has changed it was I think um, a different icon before I think it was a plus it was a plus symbol and I just remember another feature voice memos the icon has changed um, the old voice memos icon my camera's being funky here come on camera focus all right so the old voice memos was uh, I think a picture of a microphone and it was really dark and kind of reddish now it's this blue color with um, a blue background with a white microphone. Still has the same functionality. Um, it's the same. It's the same, you know, application. So we're gonna go ahead and jump on my iPad, which has, which you know, majority of the features are related to um, the iPhone. I mean, there's a lot of updates, but not as much as the iPad, which was has been stuck on iOS 3.2.2, I believe. So we're gonna go ahead and jump over there and uh, catch you guys later. Bye, guys. Or I'll see you guys, you know, shortly. Hey guys, um, so I'm back on my iPad and we're going to take a look at what the new iOS 4.2 offers uh, in terms of 
sorry about that. Um, yeah, so this is iOS 4.2.1. Uh, build 8C148 and one of the first things you know is that you have multitasking so finally iPad owners can have can use multitasking um, you know with the OS so I can swipe over to the right and I can bring up two uh, brightness controls as well as volume controls and the usual iPad or iPod uh, controls play pause uh, forward and backward I can also lock the screen using you know this button here this little toggle um, one thing to note is that, however, this used to be the orientation lock. Uh, it has now been redesignated to the mute switch under iOS 4.2. So you'll no longer be able to lock the screen using that button. You have to use that. So going out, uh, I can do multitasking. Oops. I can bring up iPod. Which I don't have any music on here yet. Um, I can bring up Safari. And in Safari, you can change. You can now print, and you can go through AirPrint. And um, as you can see, it recognizes my brother printer. I can tap print. I don't want to do that, but it's there. So I can also search within web pages now. It's much easier to show. You. It was actually easy to show you on the iPhone, but I decided to uh, show you on the iPad. So let's go ahead and search up for Europe. I know that's part of one, it's the name of one of the articles. If you tap Europe um, in the search, you can search on this page. There's three matches. I just tap that. There you go, Europe. I can find it next by tapping this button. Next and next. I can also any, at any time change my query. I can go to say books, and I can I, there's ten matches for books. I can just tap next and find what I need. When I'm done, I just tap done here and I'm all set. So one of the new features in iOS, kind of the main minor features, is um, in notes you can now change the font. You can change it from Markerfeld to chalkboard or Helvetica. That's pretty much it. And there's also, um, I think, AirPlay, which I, I don't have an Apple TV to demonstrate that. Um, but you, I can demo uh, the new folders feature. Here we, I have no idea how that happened. I did not even set a mail on this yet. Um, so if I tap on the icon, I drag it over the other. I can just create a new folder now. I can, tap, I can bring more icons in there. And there's folders. Very easy, very slick. Um, and that's pretty much it for this, you know, release. Uh, there's a lot of new features I, you know, that I can't really show you because I don't have an Apple TV or I don't have any music on here or videos. So that, thanks guys for watching this video. Please follow me on Twitter. I am twittercom slash for, for more updates and subscribe to my channel, my YouTube channel, for uh, more quality content. And I'll catch you guys in my next video.